Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the opening game, home game here at beautiful Hudson Fields in Hardwick, Vermont. Hazen High School, the nation side of excitement right here. Hazen Boys Varsity Baseball playing Lamoille today. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching Hazen Boys Varsity Baseball on HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Liz on camera, Lance Hall with the call, and standing by to throw in a few words of wisdom here, Mike Demand. Baker, how you doing, Mike? Hey, good, Lance. Beautiful day for a game, for sure. It is. It's perfect out here. We got uh, overcast skies, a little bit of a breeze, and we've got the first batter coming up to the plate. This is Brady Mayer, who is also playing shortstop today for the Lamoille Lancers. Hazen comes in with a record of 2-0. I have no idea about Lamoille's record. I did not get a chance to research it yet. I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. First pitch, fouled back. Almost hit the bus. Andrew the Mahler Menard on the mound today for the Wildcats. Yes, Andrew does a great job. He throws strikes. He does a, does a great job. Excellent. Second pitch swung. Shortstop making the play. Will they get it in time? Yes, indeed. Making the grab out there. There's just enough wind here, Mike, to mess up my notes. And uh, trying to see who I've got on here. As you can tell, we're very professional. Oh, I have Andrew as a shortstop as well, and it's not Andrew. Who is it? Who's out there? And I took my notes. I have a picture on my phone. Second pitch, second batter. This is Ryan Germain, who is actually uh, designated hitting for the pitcher. I did not know they did that in high school. Yeah, you'll see that occasionally. Um, I think from talking with John Lusher, this might actually be our local John Lusher's grandson out here. Okay. Strike, strike two. I'm trying to get my phone up here to see who's playing shortstop for us. Shortstop is Lyle Rooney. It was Lyle Rooney with the grab. Opening day jitters, Mike. There's a shot right up the towards uh, left field. And Jermaine gets himself on with a single. Yeah, nice that hit. Was, that was well hit. Well hit. So Lemoyle with a man on here in the top of the first. I think uh, Bernard's hoping for a ground ball to the infield to see if Hazen can twist one here. Who are you working with here? All right, batting now. This is third baseman Caleb Bazio. Bazio, I think, was the name they gave me. Don't establish a secondary and freeze. Keep your body moving, okay, over there? Count 1 and 0. Oh. Get off. Pitch, Bazio. Takes one looking. Evens the count at 1 and 1. Jermaine over on first. We'll see if he's going to be a threat to steal. Two and one. Pitch low. Tyler Rivard. Plane catcher today. Full counts. Three and two the count, one out, top of the first. One man on for the Lancers. 
Over there at the pitch, high. Walks Basio, men at first and second now as Zach Scriber, I believe, or Scriber. The catcher for Lamoille today strides the plate. Tall, rangy player. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Looks like a player for sure. First pitch. In for a strike. The shot fell. It's going to put the count at 0 and 2. Be nice to turn that double play and get out of this unscathed, huh? See what's he was at Williamstown the other day, Saturday, actually turned a beautiful double play over at their place. So nice. They're definitely capable of doing it. I was going to ask if you'd seen any. They've played two games away now. There's this throw up to first. Almost had it. Trying to catch Jermaine. They're trying to catch uh, Basio, that is. So, yeah, the first game, um, they got a good win at Montpelier against a really strong Montpelier team, beating them 5-3. to three and. Um, Saturday they beat Williamstown over at Williamstown 12 to 1. Um, they really hit the and really hit the ball well that day. Swing and a miss, and that will that'll be two outs. Okay, I was thinking double play three, <laughs> two outs. And up comes Hayden Peters, the left fielder for the Moyle. Two outs, top of the first, two men on for Lamoille. First and second, that pitch is high. That one will go foul. Count one and one. Jacob Davison over there at third. He's got to be ready, eh? Yeah, Jacob had a great, great game on Saturday. He had two hits over at Williamstown, so nice. he's really starting to play well. Yeah, the season team only lost one senior from last year, of course, that being uh, Ethan Chopland. Yes, and I just got word from Ethan's parents the other day that he just got accepted at West Point. So, um, awesome. Things are going really well for him. Fouled under the feet of the Hayes and coaching staff over there. Quick feet. Hayes, of course, led by Spencer Howard, seconded by Joe Rivard and Opie Upson. Yeah, really solid coaching staff here for sure. Greg Stokes, the manager for Lamoille. You know anything about him, Mike? I think he's, uh, everything I've heard has been positive over the years. Yep, definitely knows his stuff for sure. All right, count it two and two, two outs, top of the first. Three and two, full counts. Okay, the runners for Lamoille, three, two, two outs will probably be in motion on this pitch. So, so uh, he's and needs to be, you know, ready for the runners going. Pitch, there's a hit. Chopper down, that one's gonna go foul. Smart play by Davison, keeping it foul. Heads up play by the third baseman. Hey, keep fighting, 1-6, keep fighting. Come on. There, Peters. Have a little fun, have a little smile. Have a little fun, have a little smile. back at him. I did once. Hey, get it back, get it back. Come on, we need it back. With the AB, let's go. All right, go, go. All right. Pitch. Yeah. Call strike. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful pitch. I think he dropped in the curveball. Beautiful pitch. Call third strike to end the inning, and Hazen's escaped after putting two men on. And they will come up to bat now in the bottom of the first. The 
as I am now looking for our sponsor sheet, Liz. I know I read them <laughs> once. There's just enough wind out here today to really be messing with my paperwork here. I know it was DR Property Maintenance and Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, correct? I do not either. But, Mike, if you could hang on to that for one moment. There it is. All right. God, I hope these papers are, these papers are going to go off like snowflakes caught in a vortex. The, 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 uh, the Hall Mountain Vortex in full effect today, Mike. <laughs> bad. It's really blowing bad. <laughs> Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics. And DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching Hayes and Varsity Baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Liz on camera, Lance Hall with the call, and Mike Deman Baker. Providing me with a little bit of filler here today, which I am enjoying, Mike. This is good. Oh, no problem, Lance. No problem. <laughs> now, I'm trying to remember. We made it to the semifinals. Semis or the finals yeah, last year? We, we lost in the semifinals. Uh, one run loss at Thetford. Um, it was a great game. Great game. Yeah. But, yeah, just came up a little bit short. And like we said, really the only player we lost was Ethan, who was a fantastic baseball player. Right. Well, Ethan's great. Um, we have a lot of a lot of good players coming back, and everybody's looking forward to a good year this year, also. And of course, we got a couple guys on here and team that as well as celebrated a championship season in basketball, which you were a part of. That must have been that was a thrill. It was what an exciting basketball season. The guys worked hard. Um, um, great thing for our community. Um, let's uh, hope to continue it into baseball season. That would be. Uh, it would be great to have a great year this year in baseball, too. They're off to a good start. Yeah, absolutely. So, coming up to bat first is Tyson Davison. Tyson playing second base for the Cats today. Good, solid athlete right here. Comes he from is. an athletic family. He is good all-around athlete. He actually, at Williamstown, let the game off with a home run on Saturday. So nice. He's definitely capable of ripping it. Wind blowing sort of in right now as we're standing, but it's been kind of swirling all around. That pitch low. Davison right at the ouch. Right at the pitcher. Just a straight shot and it caught him in the side of the leg. I don't know if it really got him in the ankle. Calf. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Daniel Mulchu is the pitcher. Gonna try and walk it off. That will leave a mark. Well, let's feel bad for him. Just thankful in that situation that it was around the legs and not the head area. Exactly. And it looks like it caught him where there was a little bit of meat as yes. opposed to right yes. on the ankle or yes. on a knee. Right. Something like that. Absolutely. Take a couple more throws here. Now, did it catch him in the front leg or the back leg? Must right. And I think it caught him yeah. on his back. You know, I think it did on his it, follow through. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Now, with, when you're pitching like that, Mike, which do you use both legs equally? Is one of them used a little bit more in a pitch? I have no idea. Well, well you're really pushing off hard with your back leg. Well, that, that's where you get a lot of your power. So, so that's... Yeah, yeah. But man, he's toughing it out. What a tough kid. Revard. Pitch over. Pass by. Tyson's going to go to second on that one. As Mulchu thought he'd go to first base to keep Tyler honest, but Tyler's end up uh, Tyson, excuse me, Tyson's 
Going to go to second. Tyler is up at bat. Tyson really gives teams some problems with the speed out on the bases. Very fast out there. First pitch to Rebart, squares up the bunt, pulls it back. And that was the one thing, if I remember right, we saw last year. Once Hazen got a man on, very smart baseball playing. Absolutely, you know? Absolutely. Tyson, gonna steal third, standing up. It's a lot of steals, a lot of, you know, the bunts and stuff like that. Sounds like from the guys, they spent a lot of time in practices working on situational baseball on the bases. So something they put a lot of time in. So now, with the count of what? Two, two balls up here? You got to believe Tyson, uh, Tyler will maybe kind of swing away here? That one's high. Tyson thought about coming home. Catcher did a great job getting that team quickly for sure. Count 3-0 and oh now. We've got Tyson Davison at third base, courtesy of uh, a couple of steals. Well, no, he got the second on the, on the uh, throw to first that went by the first baseman, then he stole third. Rivard, count three and oh. Anything near the plate swing? Oh, I think he's... He's going to walk. Runners at the corners. Give it to the pitcher, please. In time. A little bit of confusion behind the plate there with the catcher. Look to see Rivard's likely to be off on the first, first pitcher to it. Jaden Baker comes to the plate right now. There goes Rivard. Runners at second and third. No outs, bottom of the first. Jaden Baker at the plate with a 1-0 count. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One one. That went way high. Davison comes in, gets the run. Hazen goes up 1-0. Rebard advances to third. Good speed by Davison again on the base pass. Really helping Hazen out. Now with the pitch going high like that, is, is it on a release point? Is he trying to overpower it? Is it the leg? I would say release point on that. A lot of times not bending the back on, that, on those throws. One and one the counts, and that one, Baker's gonna get a base on a hit. Hit batsman. So runners at the corners once again. No outs, still bottom of the first. And Lyle Rooney. Again, we'll probably see Jaden going on the first pitch or two, trying to get in scoring position. <laughs> Rooney there, and there he goes. Throw down, nope. Aggressive base running out here. Lyle Rooney. That pitch high. Outside, two and one. Three and one. Good eye by Rooney up there. Good eye. Hey, 
Inside. Rooney takes a walk and base is loaded for Andrew the Mauler Menard. A great opportunity for Andrew as a pitcher to help himself out here and drive some in. Nobody out. Andrew's got a big bat. We've seen him hit before. And Molchu definitely having some issues out on the mound today. Yeah, yeah. Some, some of those early inning jitters, I'm sure he'll, uh, I'm sure he'll find his rhythm soon. Here we go, Drop ball. Here comes Rivard. He scores. Tyler Rivard. And Rooney advances up to second. So two zip is your score. That was good hustle in there by Rivard. He read it really well. That pitch just missed. Looked really close. Count one and oh. No outs. Bottom of the first. Hazen up two zip. Runners on second and third. Andrew Menard at the plates. Takes a strike. Strike again. Mulch, like you said, Mulchu. Looks like he's trying to he's starting to settle in a little bit. Hey Zach, be a wall. Be a wall. Count one and two. That one high. Hey, why does stay in there better? Hey, now go get it. Now go get it. Try that one this way. Come on, seven. Here we go. Come on, go get it. 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 There you go. And call strike three. Looked maybe a tad low. Yeah, a little, a little low maybe, but. Two strikes, kind of got to take a rip at it. Yep. Asia Gould. First baseman. One out now for Hazen. Still runners at second and third. Gould. Back into the cars. Very good swing up for Asia. Have a little fun, 12. Have a little fun. You're good, you can't. Oh, Count one, one and one. One out. Two and one. The other thing I love, Mike, is the chatter from the Hazen bench. Oh, that's great. They're stellar. Very supportive of their teammates, for sure. Boy, Lance, we got a really good crowd that was showing up. Yeah. Started kind of slow, but it's really filling in really nice. Today. It is. It's a little bit of sun peeking out right now. We still got a nice, a real good, good breeze. But yeah, I mean, opening day here at the Hudson Fields. Nice crowd out here. Absolutely. I know the boys have been really excited about opening day at home. Oh, <laughs> one of the Whitney boys. Which one is that now? That was Adam Whitney. Adam Whitney with the crowd. Lance, I was thinking you might drop the headset and go back and snag that one. I was thinking about it, but uh, Adam had the line. He was calling everybody off. There's a high shot going foul. First baseman near the dugout. He's kind of looking at the dugout. I don't blame him. And I was down on the field earlier getting lineup cards. It's a little soggy down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. It's rain and snow. Of which I see in the forecast, we're supposed to get a little more this week. It's, like, it's crazy. That's right, Wednesday night, we'll be back here, weather permitting, against uh, the arch rival People's Academy Wolves. 
who have a very good team this year, very solid. Another foul. The wind lance today is actually blowing hard enough that it's going to affect pop flies. It's going to be a little bit tougher for the fielders to read those. And the way it's kind of been blowing from every direction at once out here, just from since we've been standing, it's... Definitely swirling around, for sure. But when we're that close to the vortex, <laughs> it's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen with that vortex. Pitch high. Three and two. Oh, that one bounces. Throw back to third. They were trying to catch uh, Baker coming off there, but uh, ball bounced by the third baseman as well. So now we got Dan DeGrosley here, left fielder. Talking about really good games, Dan had four RBIs the other day over at Williamstown. He's really hit the ball well now, so great situation for him to be up in with bases loaded. Bases loaded, one out, bottom of the first. Straight down the middle. Or no, it wasn't. Was it low? I didn't miss by much. No, I thought that was a strike. Called it a ball. Okay. Count one and zero. Oh. Good. Two and oh. That one bounces in the dirt. Three and oh. Mulchu possibly walking in a run. Yeah. Yep. I would doubt we can see Dan swinging at this 3-0 pitch. We'll see, see what Spencer is doing here. And that one ball four. And they are going to end up walking in a run. That was a good eye by Dan. Another pitch. Just yeah, it was a little, just a tad high. If anything, I thought for sure, I think it was either the first or second pitch on that sequence. I thought he had it for a strike. Yep. But Catcher goes out and talks to Mulchu for a moment. He's up three zip, one out still. Zach Scriber. Jacob Davison at the plate now. Hey, hey, now we go. Ryan! Strike one. Back up Just in case. All the yep. delivers. Strike two. Hey! Jake had a big two-hit game the other day at Williamstown, so he's swinging the back bat well here. And struck him out. Throw back to third. Trying to catch Rooney. And now we go to Wyatt Flanders. Now, what do you call it when your entire lineup hits in a inning? Isn't there a name for that? I'm not sure what that is, man. Two down. Knock everything down. Everybody make a play. Flanders, right fielder at the plates. Two outs now. Scoreboard's gone out momentarily. Wyatt's one of our seniors this year, isn't he? I, I, think he's I believe so, yes. I'm going to have to do a little more research for Wednesday's game. It's kind of flying by the seat of my pants here today. Well, it's the first game of the year. That's kind of snuck up on us, yeah. With the vortex blowing around. It's, yeah. it's hard to got to be on guard. Time. It is. I'm sure the king is looking out for us, though. <laughs> I'm sure he is. <laughs> <laughs> we may have to borrow his weighted vest and his lead boots here pretty quick. 
That today he might stop by the game. I haven't noticed him yet. Oh. Well, if we see him, we will have to get him on. Oh, absolutely. The Kubith, uh, very much baseball players. Uh, strike on that one. Uh, Sherman, his brother Sherman Kubith graduated in my class. They won a championship. Uh, came home with a graduation day in 1982. Oh, that's amazing. His brother Dave Kubith was a fantastic baseball player. That's amazing. And he had some sisters who were great softball players. Oh, that's of course, Jake Davison, who just hit, is right. part of that family. Yep. That pitch behind Flanders catches him, and they're going to walk in another run. I think that's four zip. The scoreboard's gone out. I think it's four zip. Yeah, I think you're right. So now we go back to the top of the lineup. Tyson Davison comes in, two outs, bases loaded. Hazen, we believe, up four zip. Try and keep track of this if we're not going to have the scoreboard. I'll at least keep track of the score. Yes. Tyson, wicked cut on that one. That was a great swing. Great swing. That's right. At the top of the inning there with Tyson coming up was the one who caught Mulchu right. Hit that hard. Right at the pitcher. Caught him in the leg. Mulchu staying in. You really have to give it to him to pitch through that, continue on during this inning after that hard shot. That, yeah, I mean, basically, you know, first or second pitch of the game. Yeah, that's Come a real tough one. That went high. Rooney's coming in. Or no, that was uh, Asia Gold coming in. Rooney walked in. That was Asia coming in. So we'll make it five zip. And Davison's still standing in. Strike two. Kind of chased one. Yeah, he took a little bit off that pitch, the pitcher did, and it got Tyson a little bit out in front, I think. That one outside. Runners hold. Runners at second and third now. Runners hold. Great job by the Moyles catcher getting back there. Getting to that quickly. Zach Scriber. I'm really lost, Lance. I don't have the list of names here. <laughs> I've got it. I, well, I'm, I'm on the Hazen lineup now. I flip up to the uh, to the Lamoille one. If we get it if I have to. <laughs> the wind was blowing blowing all my paperwork around here. That one in the dirt. That was a great, great, great play by the catcher to keep it in front of him. He doesn't make that play and it scores a run. So great play by the catcher there. Nice block. Keep battling, too. Keep battling. Come on, Daniel. Oh, I have that one. Boy, I don't know where that one missed, Lance. That looked like a pretty good pitch. I was maybe a tad low, I thought. Yeah, that must have been it. Yeah. It definitely was down the middle. I know the Lamoille coaching staff is really lobbying for, for him to get that. I mean, for the most part, I think this, I'm not sure who the home plate ump is. He's been fairly consistent. Oh, absolutely. You know, with the, there's only been a couple that we've questioned. It's a lot easier up here. To definitely. Definitely. T-Rex, Tyler Revard up. Base is loaded. That one outside. That one high. Really hard for Tyler to lay off these pitches, I know, because he really loves to swing the bat. I was going to say, he's got to want to get a bat yeah. on one of these pretty... Swing and a miss. A mighty swing at that. Yes. yes. Hey, 
There's a shot. A mile high, and it's going to drop in foul. Well foul. And that really blew that one. Yeah. Stokely, you, you, you got that angle. He hit that one a mile high. Right up, right up literally into the vortex. <laughs> And we have their foul tip. So what? Three pass ball and good hustle. Okay, it was a pass ball. First okay. base, yeah. yeah. So base is still loaded. Another run scores. I'm thinking that's six zero. Oh. There goes John Sperry with a cord. So. Yes. Right on it, Jay. The hardest working man in Hazen Athletics. Jay works, or uh, John works hard, that's for sure. So Baker back up, throw down to third, and coming home is Wyatt Flanders. So we're going to make this 7 0, I think, unofficially. Hopefully, John will get the scoreboard working and we'll know. Yes, the guy does yeoman's work. Well, he's a hard worker. Very organized. Yes. Baker at the plates. Runners at first and second. Wow, that one was high. He went out and grabbed it anyway. And play made by the right fielder, Ryan Goodman. And that will end the inning with what we think is a score of seven zip. Okay, we're back here now, top of the second. Uh, we just had, I believe that was Nolan Woosterberg. Yep. They got thrown out at first. A good play down there at third from Jake Davison to throw him out. Now we got number nine, Stokely Polio up. So the score, I, got, I don't think John's quite got that scoreboard up no, to date I, yet. I, okay. I think it's quite right We yet. think it's 7 nothing. If it's 3, we're way off. Yeah. <laughs> and we are in the top of the second, as Hazen was up forever. There oh, the that was a long at bat. And Palio draws the walk. Yeah, it's very, very good discipline by him to lay off some of those pitches by Menard that were really close. So, good at bat. I believe this is Ryan Goodman coming up now. Right fielder. Another tall player. Yeah, looks really strong. <laughs> Pleo down on first. Takes a healthy lead out there. There we go, it is seven nothing. Okay, so we, we, we counted right. <laughs> well, we still have three fingers to use. So. <laughs> There's a shot towards right coming in and not making, not quite getting there. White Flanders coming in, couldn't quite get there. Ball kind of held up a little yeah, bit almost on know, him. That, that was a well hit ball, but the wind's definitely blowing in right now and knocked it down. Well hit and a tough play for Flanders out there with that win for sure. So that moves Polio to second. Goodman is on first and brings up Logan Bennett to the plates. Now it's showing two outs, but I think it's only one. I think, I don't know. I thought, I knew we had gotten Woosterberg. I think it was just, just the first. 
I think it was just the first at bat. The first batter. Yeah. Yep. So I think it's one out, even though the scoreboard is showing two. We've been wrong before. Yes, we have many times. Pitch high. Mahler delivers, and there's another shot right on right that gets in through the infield, and the bats come alive, and we're going to have a run scored as Stokely Polio. That was a great, great job by great. the batter going, going the other way, just going with the pitch and lining it to right field. Very and good at bat. Polio showing some nice speed on the bases out there. Oh, yes, for sure. Puts Lamoille on the board. And we're going to bring up top of the order. Uh, this is Brady Mayer with Goodman and Bennett at first and second. Strike one. Good job by Menard starting ahead. That one, a ball. Count one and one. Score seven to one. Runners on first and second for Lamoille. Top of the second inning. Home opener for your Hazen Wildcat boys. That one low. Two and one. You really have to hand it to Lamoille Lance after that tough inning in the bottom of the first. They came right back, scored a run. Yeah. The, the yeah. bottom of the order yeah. is uh, yeah. coming a lot. Came, you know, oh, did what you're supposed to do. Yes. Pick, yeah. pick, pick the top of the order up. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Foul tip back. Three and two, full count. Scoreboard still showing two outs, but I don't know. The second out is must be the mystery out. <laughs> Takes that pitch outside, and Menard walks him, and that's going to uh, load up the bases here. with Ryan Germain designated hitting for the pitcher, Daniel Mulchu. He, he um, ripped a single in the first inning. Yeah, That's right, here. he did. He did. Take strike one. Fell back. Right on top of somebody's GMC. <laughs> on the roof, not the windshield. That's why I park over on the side. Oh, I, agree. I agree with you. <laughs> I'm way over in the other parking lot. Yeah, if they hit one over there, they're hitting it. Jermaine. Did he hold the swing back? Boy. He was close to going on that one, Lance. I thought. Yeah. Count at one and two. Nard's doing a good job being ahead in the count here, so. This is what you want to do with the bases loaded, just get ahead as a pitcher. That one high. Two and two. Ooh. Oh, man. 
Very close. Three and two the counts. Full counts to Jermaine. Yeah, big pitch here from Menard. Base is loaded. Top of the second. Hi. Walks in a run. Makes it 7 2. As Ryan Goodman trots across the plates. This brings up Caleb, Caleb Basio. Going back to that last Lamoille batter, that was a really good at bat. Down 0 2 in the count. Walking, right. Or, or working the walk. That was a really good at bat. Patience. Basio. Ball one. That one bounced off him? I think it, I think it may even, even hit his helmet. That's what I was thinking. Regardless, another run scores now as Logan Bennett trots a cost, and suddenly it's seven to three. And Spencer wants to go out and talk to Andrew for a little bit. As Zach Scriber awaits. Oh, Spencer will get out, you know, give some words of wisdom out there and try to settle Andrew down a little bit. and. Uh, also talking some strategy with the infielders, um, what play they're going to make depending on where the ball's hit. So. Setting things up. Yep. Now I saw the umpire trotted out there too. Is that normal procedure? Yeah, you know, you'll see that happen sometimes, Lance, if the meeting on the mound takes too long in the umpire's opinion. He'll go okay. out and break it up to get the game back get the going flow again. Going. Yeah, okay. Get the flow going. So. Okay. Baseball is probably my weakest sport, Mike, as, as far as interpreting what's going on. I think you're doing great. Thank you. First pitch, Scriber, swing and a miss. Groove that one right down the middle. Oh, right down the middle. I'll tell you, Lance, it's really really fortunate to have Hardwood Community Television doing these games. I know, for example, my aunt and uncle in North Carolina have watched Isaiah and Jaden play basketball, yeah. soccer, other baseball over the years. So it's really, really great, especially for people, you know, out of state, grandparents and stuff that don't get to games. So. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. And particularly with the way th the world has been the last couple of years, everybody's needed any glimmer that you could have. That one fouled as well. It's going to push the count to one and two. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it is. It, it's it's awesome, and it's a privilege to come out here and watch these kids play and, and get to call the game for them yeah, and, and yeah. everything. It's, it's it's pretty awesome. Yep. Great group of kids, great community. So. Absolutely. And Chase is one low. And... That now that is the second out. The yeah. scoreboard was corrected, so we, we didn't miss an out, Mike. Yeah, yep. Menard, big strike out there. Um, Needed that one. Yeah, after Spencer went out and talked to him, maybe he made some adjust, adjustment in his delivery, but big, uh, big strike out for sure. Hayden Peters at the plate now. Base is still loaded. Two outs now in the top of the second. Score 7-3. That one low, Revard. Yeah, good hustle back there yeah. by Revard. Keep that ball in play. It's amazing you go to different schools and there's different distances. The backstop is back. Hazen's is re relatively short compared to some that I've seen this year, but. Peters. Play to first, not in time. 
Another run scores. That was really, really a tough play for Jake down at third, third base. Kind of getting to get into no man's land. Yep. It was hard for anybody to get to. Kind it. of a slow roller. And like I said, yeah. the grass is a little long. That feels a little soggy. That ball looked a little dead. Yeah, absolutely. So Lamoille coming back here in the top of the second. Put four runs on the board after going down seven zip there in the bottom of the first. Brevard parks underneath that one, catches it, three outs. We're going to take a little break here. We'll be back at the bottom of the second. All right, uh, we're back here at Hudson Fields, bottom of the second inning. Hazen about to come up to play. Hazen boys varsity baseball playing Lamoille. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics. And DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching on HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Lance Hall with the call, Liz on camera, and now officially joining us on his official audio, Mike <laughs> Deman Baker. How you doing, Mike? Hey, great day, Lance. Great it day. Is. We've seen some really good baseball out here today. Oh, it's been a, been a good game. Hazen jumping ahead and Lamoille really battling back. Lyle Rooney takes strike one, and it looks like we have a pitching change out there for Lamoille. Yeah, looks, like, looks like that is Zach Scriber going from catching to pitching. That makes you wonder, Lance, if their pitcher um, is not feeling great, his leg's not feeling great after that um, shot. Yeah, we, to his legs. we saw in one of the first pitch, uh, first or second pitch of the game, uh, Tyson hit one right back at him, caught him in the leg, and his back and his was that the, is that his the back push leg, leg? I believe. Back yeah. Leg, yeah. Yep. Good. Count one and two, Scriber. Zach Scriber on the mound for the Lancers right now. Once again, your score seven four. Rooney chases one high. Yeah. Good start for the Lamoille pitcher for sure. And that'll bring up Andrew Menard. Andrew has had his ups and downs on the mound for Hazen today. Yeah, he's really hoping to get on base here, Lance, and help himself out. Help himself out. Extend his lead a little bit yeah. here. He's got a great bat. He sure does. He knows how to swing the lumber, whether he's playing baseball or hockey. Absolutely. Played hockey for who? Linden Institute, Linden correct? Institute, yeah. That went a uh, little low. I know my son Jaden, who's friends with him, and some of Andrew's buddies have gone up to watch him play hockey in Lindenville. Said he, it's so much fun to watch him play up Absolutely. there. Absolutely. For my money, hockey is the best sport live there is. It's yeah. a... You know, when I was at UVM, it was great going to watch the hockey yeah. games there. It was good stuff for sure. Count 3-0. and oh. Straight down the middle for a strike on that one. Wind seems to have settled down just a little bit here now. Menard thought he had ball four. Oh, yes. Strike two. That one's high, yeah. Menard will take his base. Good eye by Menard, good job laying off that high pitch. Up comes Asia. And Asia is also one of our seniors this year. Asia Gould. Yeah, he was an important member of the championship basketball team Absolutely. also. Absolutely, you can always count on him for some quality minutes, yeah. make a play here or there, whether it's defense, offense, whatever, yeah. you know. Gave really good energy off the bench. Yep. Gould takes strike one. Strike two on the swing. The well, oil coach Greg Strokes really cheering his charges on down there. Yeah, he seems very encouraging to his players for sure. Gold chases strike three. That one looked a little bit high and a little bit outside. It did. This, this Lamoille pitcher is changing speeds just enough to get the Hazen batters off balance. 
Dan DeGrosier. With two outs in the bottom of the second. Andrew Menard on. Strike one. High, ball one. One and one, two outs, bottom of the second, Hazen up 7 4. <laughs> Strike three, or strike two? I think it's two, yeah, yep. I thought I saw two over there already. Okay, one and two. I get tripped up like that, I'm glad oh. you're here, Mike. And there is a hit towards the infield. Yep. And that will end the inning. So we had a real big inning in the bottom of the first, bottom of the second, kind of academic. And that, that was really what Lamoya was hoping for, to hold Hazen after scoring four runs in the top of the inning. you got to wonder, too, with Mulchu pitching for that long in the first inning. He threw a lot of pitches. Uh, he could have, he could be totally wiped out, yeah. tired from that. So we will take a little break and come back at the top of the third. Turn at bat. A good start for Menard. Stokely Polio at the plate now. We know he can burn it on the bases. Oh, absolutely. We saw that. Absolutely. Count it one and one. A ball low. Menard pitch high. No, oh, Lance, that wind kicked up again. It here. kicked you, up again. You have that weighted vest with you? <laughs> my weighted boots, my weighted vest. Yeah, yep. yep. The king always looking out oh, for he, us. He is. That man does a job out there at the <laughs> crosswalk at the well, Hardwick Elementary Does school. amazing stuff. Of course, we're talking about the one and only, <laughs> the king, Richard Kubeth. Oh. Snow, rain, sleet, he's, he he's out, out there. there. Wind flooding. <laughs> <laughs> he is the man. And there's a walk. Polio takes his base. Ryan Goodman. Up to the plates. Leo at first. Top of the third. Cats up 7 4. Hayes has played two games on the road, beats Montpelier and beats Williamstown. Williamstown, yep, yes. A little home cooking. We're hoping. Yeah, it's nice Keeps for them. Street going. Yeah, nice for them to get a home game, Lance. And once again, hopefully we'll be playing here Wednesday night against PA. Weather looks a little sketchy right now. Goodman shot right to Davidson, turns to the second. So we're gonna get the double play. Oh. No. It's a great job by Davison. Yeah, to get it there. Yep. Uh, Drew Asia a little bit off the off the bag. Couldn't quite get it down, but we'll take one out. Get the runner. The, would you call that the advanced runner? Yes. Yep. And keep uh, lead runner. The yep. lead runner. There we go. Keep Goodman at first. Nice play by Asia to snag that one going high to keep Goodman at first. Otherwise, he'd have gone to second. Sure was, Lance. Asia has a really good glove over there at first. Time called. This is Logan Bennett at the plate now for the Lancers. Goodman on first. Oh, 
little high. Two and oh. Umpire looking over at the bench for a second. I don't know if he heard something he didn't like. Or yeah, what? looks like he was. Looks like he heard something. Throw up to first. Not in time. Looks like the guy sitting over there kind of got the look from Joe and Spencer and Opie after that. So. Probably won't say anything again. I was going to say, whoever it was, whatever yep. was said, will not be repeated. No. Nope. Bennett with a two and one count, two outs. I guess that's, I don't know, the scoreboard is not matching up because I saw two and one. Maybe it was three and one. I don't know. But anyway, ben, uh, Bennett walks. And this brings the leadoff man, Brady Mayer, back to the plate. And Mike, I have a, a bit of exciting baseball news. Uh, I went down to Montpelier yesterday to the rec field. There was a lady that was up here this past winter when we played U32 in basketball. Oh, yeah. Yep. And she was so impressed with my introduction, she asked me if I would be willing to volunteer to do some PA work down for the Vermont Mountaineers this summer. Oh, that's awesome, Lance. So, that's a, uh, definitely a compliment for well, sure. Absolutely. Uh, went down yesterday for a little bit of an orientation, met some other people, got up into the press box, saw that all lined up, the field and everything. Oh, and uh, I'm, I'm going to do about, I think I'm in for like six or seven games this summer with my work schedule and everything. It was, it was kind of tough. Uh, I'm going to do some Monday and Tuesday night games here or there for them. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, that's great, Lance. That's a, such a fun atmosphere down there. It's always fun bringing the kids and bringing the family. And very, yeah, very wait. fun place to go watch. You know, nice college-level baseball. Oh, and, uh, absolutely. Should be exciting. Mayor with the count at one and one, if I'm seeing that scoreboard correctly. And there's a foul back behind us. And the GMC moved us. It probably would have tagged the hood on that one. <laughs> Whoever was parked there decided they'd better move their rig. Well, with your talk about the Mountaineers, it makes me think about the late Dave Morris, who was a sports mm. icon here. When we went to the games, he'd make sure he brought us on the field to introduce us to players and managers. And what a thrill it was. Um, for the younger kids to do that when Dave, Dave would do that for us. That man's Rolodex was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. People that he knew. I remember going to a football game up in Montreal. He goes, yeah, go to the locker room. He, he reeled off a bunch of names. <laughs> Tell him you're with me, I'll get you. <laughs> uh, he had connections everywhere. He did. Everywhere. Mayor takes strike three for two outs. It looks like Menard settling in here. And once again, Ryan Germain, who is designated hitting today. Pitch low. Ball one. Two outs, top of the third. Runners at first and second. High. That one gets by Rivard. Runners are going to advance. Runners at second, third now. Two outs, top of the third. We have a 3-0 and count on Ryan Germain. What would be the strategy, take all the way? I would take all, I would have him taken all the way. And he walks. Caleb Basio. 
Hazen really hoping to get out of this inning unscathed without giving up any runs here. Strike one. There's the yeah. way to start an ending. Absolutely. Right Beautiful pitch by Menard. Another off-speed pitch from Bernard. Count it one and two. See if he goes with the heat after throwing a couple curveballs. That was low. Uh, great pitch from Menard. Great curveball there. And Hazen gets out of a little bit of a jam there as Lamoille had par runners parked at second and third. And we're going to drop down to the bottom of the third with Hazen still with that 7 to 4 lead. Let me I'll read off our sponsors. If I can find my sponsor sheet, here we go right here. We are watching Hazen Union Varsity Baseball on HCTV, courtesy of Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. You're watching HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Lance Hall with the call. Liz on camera, Mike Demand Baker, providing expert commentary today. <laughs> We'll uh, take a little break and be back at the bottom of the third. Okay, bottom of the third, Hazen at bat, Jake Davison. Takes ball one. Schreiber had a very good inning last inning. Yes, he did, came in in, in relief of uh, Mulchu. Yes. And, uh, Schreiber, I believe it's Schreiber, I think we've been corrected, it's Schreiber. Okay. We think. All right. You know what? We'll just we'll just go one inning Schreiber, one inning Schreiber. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll be right half the time, maybe. There's a nice hit straight away to the, what do you call that, like center Some left? Center left field center. there, left center field, yep. left center field. Hit it high, hit it far, but hit it right to the center field. Yeah, Davison really did a good job of waiting for that and driving it. It was Nolan Woosterberg with the catch out in center. And nothing out there is easy today, Lance. Even no. balls that look routine with the wind, mm -hmm. nothing's easy out there. Wyatt Flanders, high. Flanders takes strike one. Count one and one. One out. Bottom of the third. So we had Hazen that kind of scored a ton there in the bottom of the first. Lamoille came back at the top of the second. Right. Since then, we've uh, seen pretty much, well, no, Lamoille threatened. Right. Bases yeah, loaded that last yeah. inning, right? Yep. Yeah. Count of three and one. There's a high infield. Uh, see if the wind affects this one. Good play by the third baseman. That 
is Caleb Basio at third. Top of the order, Tyson Davison. Schreiber on the mound, kind of setting him up and putting yeah, him down he's, here. He's doing a great job out there. Great job. And if I'm seeing the right number, it's Brady Mayer, who is now back at in catcher. Schreiber caught the first inning. I think you are correct with that, Lance. Do you see a four or a 24? No, it's I think it's a four. It's, yeah, it's a four, so it's Brady Mayer. Wind blowing straight in our faces. Yeah. Briskly, Tyson takes his base. So with two outs, man on for Tyler Rivard. T-Rex, as we call him. And I think likely Spencer is going to be aggressive with Tyson on the base paths here with two outs. Great speed, good hitter. Two outs. And Davison goes as the ball gets by the mayor. All right, a nice opportunity here with Rivard. Drive him in. Count at, if the scoreboard is correct, it's 3-0. Okay, and it looks like we have an intentional walk to Rivard with a 3-0 count. Okay. So they don't even bother having them throw it. They just don't right, take the Right, base. right, right. Okay. It's kind of a new rule they've come okay. up with in the last few years that you can do that. Okay. Jaden Baker at the plates. Strike one. Now is that a double steal? That is a double steal. Once again, Hazen with that aggressive base running. So now if Jaden can just get a bat on a ball yeah, here. Yeah, see if he can drive one in. Count 2-0. Shot back up the middle. Kind of a little bit of a bobble there. He got him, though. Just got him. Just, Just got, got him. So Lamoille gets out of a jam right there with Hazen with runners in scoring position to keep that score at 7-4. to four. And we'll move to the top of the fourth here at Hudson Fields. Hazen Union High School. Hard to run. Yes, a lot, of, a lot of runs early in the... A lot of runs early in the game, and that is kind of kind of settled down here. Yes, it has. Top of the fourth here from Hudson Fields in Hazen Union High School, Hartford Mount, the Loyal Lancers playing your home team, Hazen Union Wildcats. Cats up seven four. And we have a new pitcher in here, Tyler Rivard. Tyler Rivard has moved to the mound. And Zach Schreiber, who has currently been pitching very well for the Lancers, coming in relief for Mulchu. And it must be Andrew Menard behind the plate now. It's kind of blocked out from the umpire, but. I think they've moved the mauler behind the plates. The mauler is indeed behind <laughs> the plates. So Andrew and Tyler swap positions. Count it two and one. Schreiber cut and a foul tip. 
to make it two and two. That one low. High and fell. Gold gonna try and make a play. No, he's not. Yeah, that went into the netting. Just out of play. <laughs> That one low. Go, 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 go! Schreiber will get to first easily. Uh, and a full count going there. We have a courtesy running girl here. Run this is Jackson. I'm not sure of his last name because it was I was trying to write it down. I, it could be Hogue. I know his first name is Jackson. Is a courtesy runner going in for Schreiber. And I think, you know, per, part of the um, theory with that probably is the Lamoille manager trying to Rest Schreiber for going out on the mound. Sure, absolutely. And putting some good speed on the bases also. Yeah, this kid looks fast. He does. Caleb Basio. Fazio takes 2 0. Oh. No outs. Top of the fourth. Squared up like he was going to punt. Good pitch by Rivard on the outside quarter. Three call. All right. Nice pitch by Rivard to get strike three. Get that first out. Nolan. This is Nolan Wooster. Woosterberg. Throw over to first. Asia makes the grab. Not in time. Lance, have, have you watched any of the NBA playoffs? Have you seen any I of have, that? I have not watched a lot of the NBA playoffs, no, but I've heard that uh, Jason Tatum has been having his way with Kevin Durant. Our Boston Celtics have been yes. doing awesome. Playing Draper. Draper. Foul. And good play by Rivard to make sure it stays foul. There's no way they would have had time to get the runner sprinting down to first. Celtics are up 2 1, 3 1? 3 0 now. 3 0. Okay. Yep. Big game tonight, game four. I have been watching a little baseball this year. I've decided I'm going to follow the Toronto Blue Jays this year. Just Toronto Blue Jays. I don't know, just because I decided I wanted to follow Toronto. Uh, got my heart broken yesterday. That pitch comes in high. Boy, didn't uh, miss by much. 
They were playing down in Houston. Went to the 10th inning. Uh, Toronto goes up by a run in the, in the top of the 10th. Goes to the moves to the bottom of the 10th. I forget who was pitching now. Uh, Astros get a guy on second. Their shortstop there, Alejandro Pena, or whatever yes, his name is, yep. comes up. Well, whoever was pitching for the Blue Jays at the time decided to throw a 97-mile-an-hour heater right down the middle of the plate. Oh, and yeah. Pena met his with his bat straight away center, no question. I think they said the ball came in at 97, went back out at like 100. Oh, man. Five, you know. Man. <laughs> and we ended up losing by a, game, by a run. Yeah. Walk off. Walk off one. That sounds really similar to what happened to the Red Sox on Saturday. They went to extra innings, were up two to nothing in extra innings, and ended up losing it on a walk-off home run, three yeah. to two. Yeah. That's tough to take as it a fan. Is. Yes, very much so. Just when you think you've got it. Oh, count is, uh, I believe, a two and one with two outs. This is Polio. Stokely Polio up. Courtesy runner still on first. Two and two. Runner goes. Menard oh, makes a throw. throw by Menard. Good throw. Nice jump by the runner to get in yep. there, though. Did a good job getting yep. under the tag. We said uh, he looked like he had pretty good speed. It's nice when they prove us right, isn't it? Exactly. Three and two. Hey, Stokely, nobody but you. Hey, win the battle here. Win the battle. Let's go. Come on. Keep it short. Keep it short. Hands to the baseball. Hands to the baseball. Good pitch by Reaver. Good pitch. Ends the inning. No run score. So we'll move to the bottom of the fourth with the catch still up by a score of seven to four. Moving back to the bottom of the fourth. Lyle Rooney up for the Cats. On a great day once again. Absolutely beautiful. Not real hot. A little bit of wind, but not real hot. Some cloud cover. Rooney takes a swing and a miss. And nope. after basically what you want to call one inning, right, it was the bottom of the first, top of the second, was when all the scoring was done in this right. game. Right. Hazen's been held scoreless since then, haven't they? Schreiber. Has done well. Uh, and Rooney's really hoping to get on base here one way or the other with his speed. And we had Andrew who pitched himself out of a few jams. And, yes. and Tyler who came in in that last inning in relief. Absolutely. Hi, Rooney on. And here comes Andrew the Mahler Menard. And again, I think Spencer will probably be pretty aggressive on the base pass here. Yes, Lyle is super quick. And a smart heads up baseball player. Absolutely. Menard at the plates. Hi. Really looks like Schreiber's keeping a good eye over there on Rooney at first. See if they end up testing out Mayer's arm. <laughs> I would guess he would go eventually here, but. Schreiber keeping him honest right now. He is doing a great job with that. 
And there it squares up to, and there goes Rooney. Yeah. Uncontested there. Yeah. Got a really good jump on that, Lance. Yes, he did. So now with Rooney at second, we saw where Menard had sort of squared up to bat to bunt. Uh, swing away here, count 2-0. I, oh. I think you'll see him swinging the bat yeah. here. If he gets a pitch. Yep. Good eye there. Went a little low, 3-0. and oh. A 4-0. Oh. Or did he walk him again? Did the coach walk him again? I'm trying to follow the score. With, yeah, I'm without not, us marking I, everything I down, I yeah, don't know. I didn't see him give him the walk sign yeah. there, the four, four balls, but it looks like Spencer has a pinch runner going in here. And I do not have, who is number 21? That looks like like it could be, it's a long ways from here, but it looks like it could be Jazz. I'm not sure of the last name. Okay. Um, was, was also a senior who played actually on U32's championship team last year. Okay. I didn't get, I, I got his subs, in, but I didn't get them written down before the game started. We could check that maybe in between yeah. innings. And I could be wrong. That's just my best guess from over here. If I can get the picture up quick enough on my phone here. There's a shot. Oh. Ball skitters all over the place out there. And they're still going. Here comes Rooney to score. There's still. Yeah, Asia, there was no nobody at first base there. Asia was off a good 20, 25 feet. Somewhere along the line, I lost the photo of the Hazen lineup that had their subs in it, so. Uh, first day this year, Lance, it first is. day. First, man, this is about as, about as uh, strange as it gets, including that last play. What yes, what yeah, was that yeah. all about? Yeah, Hazen very fortunate on that to, to get a run out of that. Pushes the score to 8-4. Chopper back to Schreiber. Schreiber goes over to first. But Hazen's going to score a run. We think this is the 21. His name is Jazz? I think it is. I think okay. it is. 9-4 now. And we've got a runner at second. Is that Asia at second? And Jake Davison. Uh, Jake's hit the ball well today again. Yeah, we've seen him. Get some good, well, I like to say wood, but it's <laughs> aluminum. A strong bat yes. for the Wildcats yes. is what we'll go with. And I'll tell you, Mike, before I left the house, I debated because it, it felt kind of warm. But just for the heck of it, I threw a couple of chunks of wood in the stove. Oh, you're going to be happy about that when you get home. <laughs> just a tad. Yeah. It's not horrible. But the wind is making it a little brisk. It is. No, I was outside with my classes today at the elementary school a lot and right. had a T-shirt on when I was doing that. It was really comfortable. Feels like it's dropped about 20 degrees. So. <laughs> Three and zero, oh your count. One out. Jake Davison at the at the yeah at the line at the plate. He'll take ball four to walk. Runners at first and second. Great job by Jake to draw that walk and get on base. For Wyatt Flanders. And Spencer wants to call time. Okay, we did hear him say jazz. Yes, yep. 
And it looks like he's going out to pinch run for, for Jake. Jake Davison at first base. Now he, you can pinch run more than once in an inning? I believe so, must it? Must be, I believe yeah. so. Okay. And we did hear him say jazz. Yes, yes. Nice when they prove us right. Happens once in a while. <laughs> Not often. <laughs> Not often. All right, to Wyatt Flanders. All right, runners go. Good throw down there by the Lamoille catcher, making it a close play at third, but Hazen's in there. I was kind of watching Greg Stokes coach his catcher here. Two and zero to Flanders. Baseball to me is like there's times when it's like regular straight up arithmetic, and then you get into other situations where it becomes like quantum physics. Yes, yep. that's that's when I get lost. Well, that looks like Flanders trouble. Looks like trouble. Schreiber's gonna have to hurry, oh, yeah. and Flanders gets on, drives in a run. Jazz goes to third. Flanders couldn't have placed that in a better spot. Laid it right down. I mean, almost like a sacrifice bunt. Could, absolutely perfect spot. Flanders on. One out. Hazen up 10-4 now. Bottom of the fourth. Tyson Davison, top of the lineup. Runner goes. Flanders down to second. And Davison now with two in scoring position here. Right fielder in playing real shallow. Really is. Real shallow. Really is. Tyson get a bat on it, put it over his head. Yeah. And there's sure also a pretty big gap between right and center as well. Big gap. Some room out there. I'm not sure if the right fielder's in so far because of the strong wind blowing in, but he is really shallow. Yeah. <laughs> Davison takes ball four, loads the bases. For T-Rex. Tyler Rivard. Let's see if the right fielder stays in. He still stays in. Yeah. Yep. Co Coach goes to the mound. Talk to Schreiber. Once again, there's just one out here in the bottom of the fourth. The Cats have put a couple more runs on the board. Make it 10-4. Base is loaded. Schreiber's looked strong until this inning. He really has. I wonder if he's starting to tire a bit, but he pitched two really good innings. Again, the umpire comes out to break it up. Keep this game rolling. Really impressed with the Lamoille coaching staff over there. They're, they're doing it, yeah. really positive and really, yep. really doing a lot of good they're, things. They're doing what I consider to be coaching, you know? Absolutely. Yep. Revard. Big Cuts. cut by him on that. Oh, and one the counts. And after that swing by Rivard, the outfielders take a few steps back. back yeah. Guy in right's backed up yes. a couple of steps. Couple steps. He's still, I think he's still in a little shallow. Shot into the gap. Big time hit right there. That's going to score a bunch of runs. And Rivard's and on Rivard's his horse. chugging around. He's going to go to third. He's going to slide in there and get it with a triple. 
So Rivard with a bases clearing triple base. I mean, he's on base, but everybody else scores. Yeah, absolutely ripped that into the gap there, yeah. Lance. Ripped it. We, we talked about how they had stepped back. They should have stepped back a, little, a lot more. <laughs> that was a great hit. Yeah. Right to I the gap, right to the edge. Could have hit it any better than yeah. that. So Matt makes it 13 4 now in the bottom of the fourth as everybody comes home but Rivard. He's in there with a triple. Jaden Baker at the plate. Still just one out. And Rivard on third base and Baker hitting two other members of the basketball team that won the championship this year. Absolutely. Took out the arch rival Williamstown in the semis and then a tough Winooski. Yeah, those are both tough, Team. tough games. Baker puts that one, that one. So, almost hit the snack shack that's, over there. That's, well, I didn't well, hit a, that truck. I yeah, don't want to pay for that. That was a good foul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, that basketball season was a lot of fun to do the games for for, oh, know, for HCTV. It was just an amazing thing to be a part of. Baker chasing one. Oh, yeah. Yep. What do you, what do you say, Dad? You, you will do that at times. <laughs> you will do that at times. <laughs> but it was just so much fun to be a part of. And then uh, Coach Aaron Hill invited me down to the team dinner afterwards at the Legion that the Legion held for everybody. Oh, yeah. It's just, just a great time. Yeah. And Travis put together that magnificent, magnificent highlight portfolio Travis Hill did for the basketball team. <laughs> there's a hit, there's a high. Right fielder gives chase, he misses it. Baker never stopped running. He can come, he almost probably could have come home. Triple uh, on the misplay by the right fielder. Now, would that be considered an error? Well, I mean, it depends on the scoring. It was well hit when the wind blowing. Um, kind of depends what level. It could go either way, I think. Lyle Rooney. 14-4. Bottom of the fourth. As the Hazen bats have come alive. And Rooney up here right. hitting. Right, it's been mostly hitting. We haven't seen any walk-ins. No. He hasn't walked anybody. No. This has all been aggressive base running and hitting. Right, right, absolutely. Rooney takes a uh, ball, one and one, and we still have just one out. Two and one. And good eye by Rooney. Three and one. Like you said, Lance, Rooney has a very high baseball IQ for he sure. Does. He does. He is a baseball player. And that one goes high. Yeah, good eye by Rooney. Those Brings are tough up. to lay off sometimes. Brings up Andrew the Mauler Menard. The X-Man back here with Travis Hill. Now he <laughs> hit. I was walking. Oh. Yeah. Pass ball. All right. And we're going to have a time. X-Man. I, I, I was home watching this game. I didn't get to see this live. I was home. In the Williamstown game, right towards the end, the semifinal, we're talking basketball now, not baseball. You hit two of the most clutch free throws that I, you know, have the privilege of watching in a game that was that tight. What was in your mindset going up to the line when you're going to shoot those shots? 
it was just, it was so cool, the atmosphere, and I was just, we were already up one, so that took a little bit of pressure off, but if I knew I could hit those two, then we'd have a much better shot at winning. Uh, it's just, I just want to, you know, I, I haven't, I know I texted your dad that night, but I wanted to say to you, that, that was just a, a absolute clutch performance out of, a, out of a young player, you know? Now, now, I was sitting next to Dad during the free throws on the bench. Okay. So he was much more nervous than Xavier was. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I'm sure he probably that, was. <laughs> that, that, that is tough on dads yeah. when your kids are up there in those situations. Uh, and dads was, and moms. But uh, I just want to bring you over and let you know, I, I just thought that was amazing. Stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be cool because you had Jaden on the team. Travis had the X-Man, and Aaron had... Carter. Carter, yeah, yeah. So you got three coaches with yeah. their sons playing. I mean, that must be. Yeah. And, and last that's year, a once in a lifetime. Oh yeah. You know? And last year, Isaiah was there too. So we right. actually had four of them. And uh, yeah, it's pretty special stuff to be able to be involved with your kids' athletics. That it is. That it is. And it goes by way too fast. Oh man, it's. Cody Tell you what, Joe, Tony and Joey have already graduated. Oh, I know. And it's been when Isaiah graduated and not being able to see him play sports this year has been, yeah. been a different thing for sure. They were just barely, yeah, barely toddling yeah. around and. Yeah, uh, and, you know, it kind of struck me when I went down senior night for soccer with with Joey. You know, I'm thinking, well, okay, I've got a, you know another year with yes. Cody and everything. And, Next thing you know, boom, they're gone. And, you know, now they've, you know, Cody graduated last year and Joey was the year before. Oh. It's just, it's just way too fast. No, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So what do we have happening here, Mike? Uh, it's like a pitching change for yes, Old Loyal here. Yes, this is Logan Bennett. Logan Bennett on the, on the mount. And who's that on deck for Hazen down there? Number seven. It's number seven, that's Andrew. Andrew Menard, Menard still. <laughs> So we're in the uh, bottom of the fourth. Cats are up 15-4 as they have really scored some runs at this inning. Schreiber had been doing awesome. He, he had been. I, I bet he just got tired. He was he was throwing well. And, you know, once the Hazen batter saw him a second time, it's a little bit easier to hit, yep. hit guys a se the second time Four seeing him. Through, so. yeah. And then the Cats so aggressive out there, you know, on the, on the base pass. Right, well. right. So one out, bottom of the fourth. Cats have put on what, seven? Uh, eight, eight runs this inning. Eight runs this inning. Pretty unbelievable. Yeah. They've had all their runs in two innings. Yeah, seven runs in the bottom of the first and eight here in the bottom of the fourth. Runner still on second as well for the Cats. High, Bennett's high. So Lance, I got a chance to watch um, Nesson the other night had a um, Jerry Remy night at the stadium yeah. at Fenway Park and what an amazing announcer he yeah. was. Yeah, definitely. A lot of the four, his former teammates were there and, and it was a very special occasion anyways. Those old time announcers are so special. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. Remy, you know, Vince Scully, right. like that. Right. So smooth. Oh. Like in Remy's case, he was, you know, a big part of that Red Sox organization in general, being a player there, being a broadcaster. Definitely. Asha Gould comes up, runners on first and second. Want to know? Come on, 
A little bit of sun popping out. Oh, That's nice. That is a good thing. And that one is a mile high. The runners will advance on that. Almost looked like it <laughs> slipped out of his hands yes, a bit. Yeah. While we get a sec, I'll read off our sponsors, because we could not be us without them, Mike. Our sponsors today for the game, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Mike Demand Baker providing commentary as well, and Liz on camera. And I kind of drafted you in this pretty quick, Mike, but it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, it's not been bad, Lance. I was a little nervous about it, but it's not been like bad. I say, you just put on a set of headphones, we sit here and we talk about the game and anything else that comes to mind. <laughs> James Salvis and I went into a great uh, detail about pizza one night. Boy, does sound good, Lance, <laughs> this time of night. Must be you're doing the cooking tonight at your house uh, off the pizza night. <laughs> if, if Dad does cooking, it's definitely pizza. <laughs> Can't go wrong with it, you know? No. All right, we have number 23. I do not have a 23. That number. is Brandon. Um, drawing a break blank on his last name. Okay. This is Brandon. He actually, he had a really big hit in the game at Montpelier. Good pinch hit. And a good eye by Brandon up there. I had a picture of Spencer's lineup card that I took, and I wrote everything down, and I forgot to write his subs down. Oh, the yeah. picture's gone. <laughs> the perils. Must be the vortex kind of blew it right off your phone or well, something. Well, I'll tell you, I was writing stuff down, I was worried about my papers <coughs> blowing away. Mm -hmm. Worried about me blowing. <laughs> it was blowing hard. Earlier it was. Yes, it did. Sun out now, it's kind of calmed down just a tiny bit. The Hall Mountain Vortex in full effect <laughs> earlier in this game. <laughs> Base is loaded for Brandon. Bottom of the fourth, one out. Bennett on the mound now for. Uh, that was a good curveball from the pitcher there. Nice curve, Logan Bennett. Strikes out. All right. Jazz, it's hitting now. First game at Montpelier had a couple really hard hit balls. Got a good bat. Does. Two outs. Bases loaded. Bottom of the fourth. 15 4 your score, Jazz. Takes ball one. Foul back. Had a big swing on that. And that's yours, Mike. That's all yours. A few steps over. Yep. Ooh. I would have had that. I don't like to show off. That's so true. Man, so. It's true. X Man with a nice grab on the yeah. bounce. Yes. <laughs> all right, so we got a count of one and two on Jazz. Two outs. And he 
Pokes one out and right. Right fielder on his horse going over. Can't make the play. We're going to have runner score. And we've seen... Uh, that's another. Ryan Goodman having a little trouble out there in right field. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, you know, a lot of it is that wind out there today, swirling well, around. Well, and that and a little bit of sun in his eyes on yes, that one. Yep. Sun's out now. Yep. The wind has kind of died, but now you got the sun in your yeah, eyes. So. Yep. Hey, I'm not going to say anything. I can't play baseball for beans. <laughs> hey, I'm scared of the ball. Were I you, can't Were you catch. a Little League player? No, no, no. I, I was scared of the ball. I was scared of the ball. I couldn't do anything with baseball. I tried softball one summer. That they stuck me in right. <laughs> uh, nope, I will never, never say anything about anybody who does anything playing baseball. It is a, it is a tough yeah. sport. It is. It is. So, uh. I used to play when I was younger, but ended up taking up golf, so that was okay. kind of the end of baseball. I hear you're a heck of a golfer at times. Uh, there's um, a, there's a, that one gets up, play over, nobody, uh, nobody at first really, nobody went over to cover. Yeah. A little bit of disarray there on the defense. As far as golf, Lance, maybe a good shot once in a while. I hear you're very good at chipping. <laughs> uh, you, have well, a heck, you have a heck of a chip. Heck of a chip. Or is it a chunk? Heck of a. I think a it's a more chunk, of a chunk. chunk, chunk. Yeah. yeah. More of a chunk than a chip. <laughs> All right, Tyson <laughs> Davidson. <laughs> chunk chip. There we go. No, uh, as far as sports, uh, never. I mean, I had good speed. I think if we would have had a track team, and I'm not talking like distance, I'm talking like yeah. sprint, you know, sprints and stuff like that, I might have gone out for that. Um, I was always at pretty decent speed. Well, that makes um, sense. Your kids are fast. When I yeah. when I see them right. compete in athletic event, events, they're fast. Well, if you remember right, one year when I was subbing at the uh, elementary school, I went down and did some sort of fitness thing in the gym with you. Oh, yes, you did. You, know, you did, you, you, yeah. You put me in the, in, in the top percentile. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I do remember that. That was awesome. <laughs> and uh, so I think if we would have had a track team, um, I probably would have played, you know, would have gone out oh, for track. Yeah, um, absolutely. I did discover bowling. I was a fair bowler. I have um, heard you were a good bowler. I Davis, have heard that. That one's fell. Um, and I, I enjoyed that. There was a, about a, no, oh, 15 year period where I did nothing but bowl. Yeah, you know, I did hear that recently. You were a heck of a bowler. Did you bowl over in Morrisville at the old bowling bowled alley over there? At Morrisville Lanes, yep, for many, many years until they shut them down. Then I moved down to Twin City and oh. uh, got on some teams down there. Davidson in the dirt on that one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I really cut my teeth down at Morrisville Lanes. Glenn and Linda Swanson, the owners of those lanes and back in the day. And it was just a lot of fun, oh, a lot of fun. And awesome. I bowled with some great old-time bowlers. Oh. My dad was a good bowler. Nice. James Salvis' grandfather, Lou Wheeler, was an excellent bowler. Uh, yeah. I heard there was a lot of, yeah, a lot of guys from this area who were good. Oh, the, the Tuesday night Hardwick Men's League was a an absolute staple for Ooh. years and years and years down there. Worth some of the other guys around here. Tim Whitney. Tim Whitney was an excellent bowler. Garth Christensen bowls yep. a lot now. Yep. Another local I never guy bowled that's good. Garth came along after after me, but uh, yeah, I heard he's an incredible bowler. Um, I haven't had a lot of success with that, Lance. It gets me, uh, <laughs> looks like it should be easy, but it's harder That's than heck. Exactly. It's, it's, it's so hard. <laughs> you look down and you sit there and you watch somebody do that. Yeah, this looks easy. Let me give it a shot. Yeah, and yep. then, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Charlie Smith, who was a great oh, sports fan yeah. here in Hazen. And his son, Steve Smith, was a great bowler. Excellent oh, okay. bowler. Uh, Charlie and Steve were really good. Uh, Freddie Devinger was a good bowler. Nice. Yep. So speaking of Charlie Smith, what an amazing athlete he oh, was. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, he bowled into his 80s. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, well. He yeah. bowled well. He actually golfed, golfed in his 80s. We, yeah. we won a tournament together when he was in his 80s. He was unbelievable right down the middle. Mm -hmm. Wasn't he a skier, basketball oh, player, you name baseball it. player? You name it, he could play it. Just a great all-around athlete. Yeah, yep. 
two outs, Tyler Rivard up. Runners at first and second. 19-4 and Tyler's gonna as Bennett's a little wild. Yeah. I think Tyler really wanted to swing the bat. He's a little yeah. bit frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> This brings Jaden Baker up. As Lamoille is just looking to punch this third out and get out of yeah. this inning. Yeah. We put uh, 12 runs on. Boy, I didn't even, yeah, it has extended a lot. Jaden Baker takes ball one. And we talk about the king a lot. His brother David was a really good bowler. I bowled on a Friday night team with him. Um, nice. Uh, we won the league championship three straight years in a row down there. Three in a row? Three in a row. Wow. Wow. Yep. Uh, myself, my dad, uh, Calvin Barnes, who was an uh, excellent bowler, Dave Kubeth and Rusty Furlan, uh, wow. five-man team. Nice. My dad, Calvin, and I were pretty much scratch bowlers at the time. Dave carried maybe a four or a five handicap, and Rusty was our <laughs> handicap guy. He had, he had like a 10 or a 12. Our team handicap was generally under 20. Oh, that must have been good times for sure. Oh, man, we could, we could throw some strikes. And, and oh, ball goes right up through the middle past everybody. Three different guys had a shot oh, at yeah. that. Still rolling. And getting to be able to do that that with your dad must have been really special. <laughs> it was. It was. It was a. It, it really was. He was the one who got me into it. He was always a good bowler. There was one year on the Tuesday night league, we were battling back and forth for high average, <laughs> and it came down to the last night of the season. I finished up with 197.6. He ended up at 197.0. Oh man, man, bragging rights, huh? <laughs> Those are, that's incredible, though. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Not, I would, those if, are great averages. If I could turn back the clock, you know, and, and go back to some of those Tuesdays and Friday nights. Oh, and, absolutely. You know. And I remember watching a couple games of the 86 World Series between the Mets and the Sox. You oh, know, okay. Glenn used to set a TV up on the counter and. This was before the days of plasma screens and digital and all yeah, that. He just yeah. he said, I think it was, I almost think it was a black and white TV oh. on the counter, and uh, you know we'd gather around in between. And oh, that's so cool! So that sounds like a huge group of you then were there. The Tuesday night men's league, it was it was twelve teams, five so sixty guys. Oh wow, wow! A dozen teams uh, with five guys each. Yeah. Now Rooney's looking to hit one in the gap here and score a couple more. Now, Mike, I'm I'm not saying this in a disrespectful way towards Lamoille. 21-4. Is there some type of mercy rule that's going um, to go into effect here? Did so, you know of, so I believe there's a 10-run rule that that if things stay the same, um, will happen after Lamoille's top of the fifth hitting. Okay. So I think the game, if it stays the same and is over 10 runs, okay. Lamoille will hit in the top of the fifth, I believe, and then it'll be done. And again, I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. I'm just, uh, you know, no, I ask, believe asking the technical right. baseball question. Right. Because really, I mean, all you can do is just keep playing. Right, right. But it looks like, you know, that ball kind of got by the third baseman over there. Yeah. It looks like they're kind of, I don't know, if, they, if they've given up, the wind is out of their sails. Well, you'll notice right now probably Spencer will not have Jaden stealing second base. He, another situation he might, but with this lead. Right. Well, we got I, bases loaded right now. We did. Yeah, we, we have There's bases loaded right now. But yeah, he'll take off the aggressiveness. Who can I blame for that mistake? Not seeing the guy 
guy at second base. Well, the umpire was standing there. He had to have had something. He kind of had him shaded. That's got to be it. He kind of had him shaded. That's got to be it. One and two. Bennett looking for that elusive third strike yes. here. Yes. Oh, he wanted that one bad. Two and two, we've seen a lot of two and twos, a lot of three and twos, but they either walk or Hazen's got yes. the bat. Mostly Hazen's got the bats on it. We've seen some some really squirrely plays out there with the ball as well. Right, right. Um, that went high. Sun behind the clouds again. That'll bring the breeze back up. Oh. Vortex will Vortex kick right into, into full finish. effect. Yeah. Lead vest and weighted boots. <laughs> that does walk in a run. But like you say, Mike, I, I got to hand it to the Lamoille coaches. They're staying positive. They're coaching. He's telling them, get ahead, stay ahead. Oh. Yeah, I was just noticing yeah. the same thing. That's yeah. great coaching. Go, 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 go. And at this point, you obviously, you just ignore the scoreboard one right. pitch at a time, one play at a time. Same thing in basketball if you're, if you're down, you know, 30 or 40 points. Right, right. Shut the scoreboard off and just concentrate on each. Right. Absolutely. You know. Definitely the sign of a good coach that they're continuing to encourage their kids and instruct them even with the score the way it is. I mean, and this is when, you know, character comes into play. I remember reading a story in Sports Illustrated a while ago. Oh, the Miami Heat coach, not the current one. I think I don't think he's still there. This was a former one. Taught coached AAU basketball. And I remember him saying, you know, they had games where they would be down 40, 50, 60 points. They didn't care. They weren't looking at the score. They wanted to see how the kids were going to react, how the kids were going to stay yes. focused, how yes. they were going to be each time up and down the floor. Yes. And yep. that's how they separated, you know. Right, right. No, that makes sense. You know. That makes sense. You look down at the Lamoille bench and their players are still standing near the, you know, near the dugout, still yeah. encouraging their teammates. Two and oh, so counts. Aisha Gould. Gould. I say Aisha's name differently. I think, <laughs> swear to God every time I say it. And I think it's Gould. I try to remember, because it was, when it was senior night, I went over to him before. I said, because, you know, he was obviously going to be starting. And I said, I want to get it right. Yeah, yep. How is it? He goes, it's Gould. <laughs> <laughs> like, you idiot. <laughs> Another run walks in. And this is Brandon, correct? Brandon back up, second at bat. Have you gotten the last name yet? I have not. Okay. I almost asked one of the students over here and yep. kind of slipped my mind. Would, would X know? X definitely would know. X. What is Brandon's last name? Brandon Crawford. Crawford. Okay, okay. Brandon yeah, I know Crawford. That name. Okay. Yeah, I know that name. Last year was his first um, season playing for Hazen Baseball, and he's come on and done a really nice job. Do you know if he's like from Hardwick or one of the surrounding towns? I, I can't remember. I think he transferred from another school. Yep. Okay. Now, do we have any girls playing softball anywhere this year that you know of? I'm not aware of that at this point. Either. I don't think so. Not that I. I know there heard. were some. There used to be some, like yeah. Olivia Davison and, right. and some other girls, but. Two and one. 
Brandon's looking to put a good swing on one here. And a good eye from Brandon, a good eye from Crawford there. Chopper. Yes. Basio makes a play over to first. And there is the third out. And that will end the fourth. Cats put up 16 runs. Make it 23-4. We went in there 7-4, to four, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. 16 runs. Wow. So coaches gathering together with the Moyle and just, you know, let's start it over. Yep, absolutely. And uh, you know, the last time Hazen had a big inning in the first, Lamoille came up with a bunch of runs in the top of yeah. the second. So yeah, anything can happen. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're back. Top of the fifth here. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Liz on camera. Mike Demand Baker. Here on commentary as well with me, our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. And top of the fifth, Mike, the score, 23-4. And it looks like, is that senior Tyson Davison in there There's on Tyson the mound? Tyson Davison on the mound, yes, indeed. This is his first appearance pitching this year, so I'm sure he's looking forward to being out there. And this is number seven I had. Let me go to my trusty phone, because I do think I have a picture of Lee Lamoille. Well, I lost it. I know his first name is Matt. But I cannot get my thing to stop long enough to Let's try this one more time. What I ended up doing was I was trying to take a picture and I ended up taking a movie. Uh, okay. So now it, it's there for so long and then it goes away. And I can't get it to pause. I did before. But I know his name is Matt. His first name is Matt. He just drew a walk. And Lamoille sends up a pitch, pinch hitter. Okay, and this is uh, Jackson. This young gentleman's name is Jackson. My apologies to the Lamoille players. Sun peers back out from under the clouds. Matt moves down to second. Pitch by Davison on the corner. Yeah. 
it is nice to have that sun coming back it out. And the wind seemed to have died down a lot. <coughs> sun comes out, the wind dies. Sun goes behind the clouds, wind mm -hmm. comes out. Yes. Brady Mayer at the plate. No outs. Runners on first and second. And a good start for Davison. Two and O to Mayor. Top of the fifth. In this situation, Davison's looking for the double play ball or strikeout here. Runners at first and second. <laughs> oh, very nice pitch That's from Davison. Ryan Germain. Now we're saying this is John Lucia's grandson. I believe he, I believe he is. Yep. I believe he is as well. And I think if I'm correctly, it's he's an eighth grader. And, this is saying yes. And tell you what, he, he had a great hit in the first inning. He's drawn a walk today. He's done a lot of good stuff. Now, I'm trying to remember, is the Moyle a Division II school in basketball there, Division they II, They are a right? D2 school, yeah. Yep. Now, do you play like D2, are they, is it like in all sports, or you sort of designate your sport as you go along? Well, I think it, baseball's moved into the cap, capital, or Hazen's moved into the capital division also. I think most of the time, Lance, it's um, every sport in that division, but sometimes it fluctuates between girls and boys teams. Okay. Yep. For example, our girls being in D4 this year. Right. Which I've heard they're moving back to D3. They're going to move back to D3? Year. Yeah. That was oh, a nice a, hit by Jermaine. Another nice hit. Straight away center. Ball comes in. Jaden Baker. A nice play. Almost caught the runner at second. Almost. He had a, he had a good a nice throw, throw back in. in. More good contact for number three for Lamoille. Another well hit ball. I would ball. say his baseball future is pretty bright. Yeah, absolutely. Caleb Basio. Two outs. Runners at first and second for Basio. Top of the fifth. Once again, opening game. This has been from Hudson Fields for the Hazen Union Wildcat Boys, their varsity season. Next game, hopefully, we'll get in Wednesday night against the arch rival People's Academy Wolves. Have you had a chance to, anybody had a chance to scout the Wolves? Well, I, I know they're going to be strong again this year. You know they were really? the state champions last year in Division Three, and they're supposed to have a good team again this year. Um, last year, really good games with them. Uh, yes. We won one, lost one, and then they beat us in extra innings. I think it must have gone nine innings. Maybe I think that game innings. was here. I think yeah. James and I called that game. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So very good competitive games last year. Yep. Looking for another one on Wednesday. Absolutely. All right. Struck him out. Good pitch and by Davison. Is the third out, and that is 
your ball game here from Hudson Fields. Hazen winning by a final score of 23 to four over the visiting Lamoille Lancers. Our sponsors once again today have been Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and DR Property Maintenance, 793-7388. Call the doctor for all your property needs. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Liz on camera, Mike Demand Baker stepping up with the with the microphone and providing some commentary today and some great insight, Mike. You you your knowledge of the game is, is fantastic of what's going on and everything, and I truly truly enjoy yeah. just back here bantering with oh, you. Thanks, Lance. It was a good time. Appreciate good time. it. All right. Hopefully, we'll do it again. Maybe. Absolutely. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.